church. There is a third free teleport and it's a Christmas miracle. Also, I'm trash. I had just put out a video talking about two free teleports that you can get in Final Fantasy XIV and Walker, and there is a third, but it's a really old way back in A Realm Reborn. I did not cover it, and I really couldn't tell you why I didn't. I knew about it, but I just haven't done it in probably years, so that's probably why I didn't think about it. But I want you guys to have all the information at your fingertips so then you can decide if you want to do it or not. I probably won't be incorporating all of it into my daily activities as you have to go out of your way. And if you've been following me even for a little while, you know I like to multitask and I like to kill three birds with one stone. And you really can't do that with this method. But it can be rather quick if you just do partial of it. So what we're going to talk about today is the allied seals for your grand company. If you'd watched my recent videos, you know that we have hunt marks and there are different type of hunt marks for each expansion. A Realm Reborn is the only hunt marks that will give you these allied seals for them. All future elite marks and hunt marks do not give you allied seals. Again, that's probably why I didn't think about this or remember it when I was making that video. You simply go to your grand company and do the quest to unlock the hunt bills. And then you have a board right next to the NPC. Here is where you can collect, similar to the Endwalker hunt marks, a daily and a weekly hunt list. I will say I absolutely do not believe that it's worth it to do the daily hunt list as you're only doing this for allied seals and the lower ones only give you 8 to 20 allied seals when you kill an enemy. But if you look at the weekly hunt list, there's only one and it gives you a hundred allied seals. That is a lot for just killing one enemy. And if you're above level 50, you're going to have no problem even before probably killing this enemy. The one caveat of all this is that the enemy doesn't spawn in the same locations from what I could research. If that is not true, please comment down below and let me know. But they have multiple areas into which this one enemy can spawn. I simply just looked up a map on Google, which I will put right here. But you can also just Google the name of the enemy and location, and then they'll show you a map as well. And then I simply just flew around to all of the locations. I'm guessing once I do this more often, then I will be able to do this without looking at a map. I also found it within like four minutes of searching, so it doesn't take too long. A hundred of these allied seals are going to give you a ton of etherite tickets. These etherite tickets can be used in place of teleporting at any time. The really great thing is you can also choose not to use the etherite ticket if you're just teleporting a short distance. Not only that, they also gave a huge quality of life to these teleport tickets and that is you can adjust the amount of gill you don't want to spend. So let's say that you want to use these etherite tickets only when you hit a thousand gill. So when you hit teleport, it will then only use the ticket if the teleport is more than a thousand. I think the new quality of life update plus how easy it is to get the 20 tickets a week make this worth it and I will be doing it once a week as you can only do it once a week. So once a week for a three minute thing, I feel like that's totally worth it. You can also get these allied seals by doing hunts, which is the A rank and S rank that are on the maps. All of these have different criteria for spawning and you can just find that by a simple Google search. I will also leave a link to the website where I found it in case you don't want to do that. The last place that you can find these is the Blue Mage log. So if you like doing Blue Mage and you do the weekly carnival, you can also get allied seals for doing all of that every week. I don't find joy myself in doing Blue Mage um, consistently, but I think that would just be a really good different way to break up the content if you're kind of burnt out. Either way, doing your weekly hunt for 100 allied seals and getting 20 tickets is totally worth it and you should definitely take the three or four minutes to do that. Remember, you can only get these from a Realm Reborn. 
uh, Realm Reborn has allied seals. After that expansion or after the main story, they moved on to Centurio seal. Centurio, I can never pronounce that. In Ishgard, if you are at the main ETH, right, and then teleport to the Forgotten Knight, you'll see the clan hunt board right here. This is the same, I think, as the Realm Reborn ones, where I think I might only do the weekly one as it gives you a hundred Centurio seals. Centurio, Centurio, seals. After you collect that and you do the hunt, if you come down here, you'll see that there's two vendors and the one on the left is the one that's going to give you the Centurio seals for the Etherite tickets. It's the same price as the Allied seals, which is five, and you can get a hundred from doing the weekly hunt. If you're above level 60 or 70 with the appropriate gear, then you should have no problem doing the hunt. There's also a few other items that you can pick up, like the minions, a striking dummy, and other things like that. Moving on to Stormblood, they also have a hunt board, which is gonna be located in Rogar's Reach, just right of the main etherite. It's the same exact concept as you just wanna do the weekly, as that's the one that gives you 100 Centurio seals. The vendors are located to the left, but they do not have the Etherite tickets at this vendor. You'd have to go back to Ishgar to purchase those Etherite tickets. They do have their corresponding things. I would pick up the minions and other items. They have gear that you can exchange for, as well as these clan mark logs, which are harder bosses, mythic and veteran. If you did all three of these hunts every single week, then you can net 60 Etherite tickets a week just by doing the three weeklies. That is pretty good. Again, it is extra. You'll have to go out of your way. But if you want to save some money, you can practically get rid of, of all of the teleport costs between this, the Grand Company Etherite tickets, as well as the free teleport from the two-step factor authentication, which I had in my other video, which I'll link at the end of this one in case you want to watch that one too. Hopefully you will be able to add this to your weekly repertoire of the million other things that we have to do every week. If you got any value out of this video, then don't forget to limit break three that subscribe button down below. I want to wish you all a happy holidays and I want to give a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters for if it wasn't for you guys, I would not be able to put out continued content like this. If you want to watch more Endwalker tutorials or videos, then you can click here.